Han Sen's <clears throat> family faces an ultimatum from Han Yumei and Han Lei. They must come up with money to pay off a debt or sell their house within a month or face a lawsuit. Han Sen's mother, Luo Sulan, is distraught by the situation. Han Sen assures her that he will find a solution and contacts his father's friend, Mr. Zhang, for legal advice. Han Sen learns that his relatives do have a legitimate claim to part of the house, and if they were to go to court, they would likely win. Determined to save the house, Han Sen enters the God's Sanctuary and returns to his room at the Steel Armor Shelter. He realizes that he needs to come up with $2 million within a month, hoping to earn the money, Han Sen decides to catch and evolve a primitive creature. He sets his sights on the Swift Mantis, a fast and dangerous creature found in Zephyr Valley. With his newly acquired Sacred Blood Beast Soul Armor, Han Sen feels confident that he can defeat the Swift Mantis and sell its evolved flesh for a large sum of money. Although few people hunt Swift Mantises due to their speed and dangerous forelegs, Han Sen believes it is his best option. He plans to disable the creature by cutting off its claws and wings, then use the black crystal to make it evolve into a mutant creature. With luck, Han Sen may even acquire a valuable beast soul, such as the swift jagged blade. As Han Sen approaches Zephyr Valley, he encounters fewer people, and the valley is devoid of human activity. He proceeds cautiously, using the sacred blood black beetle beast soul for camouflage. The tall grass and trees in the valley make it difficult to spot any hidden swift mantises, and Han Sen must be careful to avoid their attacks. With determination and his newfound power, Han Sen is ready to face the challenges of hunting the swift mantis and earning the money needed to save his family's home.